the pain or the scrutiny. It just was, it was hard, you know? Britney's like one of my favorite people on earth and whenever she wants to make music, I'm there. Oh no, 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 this isn't music. I think it's pretty obvious that this is an old photo of Britney Spears. It's actually a photo shoot she did for Glamour magazine. That is so AI. Jamie Lynn Spears has been trying to promote her new movie. She's using her poor relationship with Britney Spears as clickbait, as Britney dictates the news headlines with questionable music and more concerns. So let's get into it. At this point, there's nothing else that Jamie Lynn can do to save her reputation. She can go on as many press tours as she likes, but people have seen her true colors. And I think after watching her toxic relationship with her sister, Britney Spears, play out publicly, people don't really trust her, and she seems inauthentic. In my opinion, she's grasping for anything to talk about to put her name in the press and to try to make this movie a hit, because she needs it. She's even claiming that she tried out for Twilight which imagine if she was like Bella. I mean, the movie would not have been a hit. Well, um, I loved everyone that was casted. And I'm glad that everyone that was casted got casted. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, right before this interview took place, Jamie Lynn had some luck because Britney had shared that she supposedly visited her sister, I guess, on set of the movie or at some point. I mean, at this at this time, it seemed like Britney was on vacation, so I don't know when she would have met with Jamie Lynn, but she claims that she had before deleting that caption. Of course, this creates a bunch of celebrity news headlines because the two have had issues for quite some time. And even though this caption was convenient for Jamie Lynn, a source close to Jamie Lynn says that the sisters have not patched things up. I almost even doubt that they actually saw each other. How do I make it work? Hallelujah, amen, always and forever. That is correct, people. We need the good that video is so cringe to me because it took her so long to acknowledge the Free Britney movement that um the filter was definitely shady for that. Even though Jamie Lynn is trying to go around and talk about Zoe 102, she can't really do anything about Britney's influence. I mean, her impact is incredible. She's putting out new music, she's coming out with this book, and everyone wants to know about Britney. They can really care less about Zoe 102, which I'm supposed to watch live on TikTok with Alexa Nicholas this Thursday, so if you guys want to watch that, we'll be on TikTok, I believe. And this kind of reminds Reminds me of when Jamie Lynn's book, Things I Should Have Said, came out because she tried to go around and create some headlines, but it really backfired because Britney and her fans slammed Jamie Lynn because they felt like she was trying to make a quick buck off the pop princess. Six months later, Britney did not invite Jamie Lynn or anyone else in her family to her wedding. And it seems like Jamie Lynn's go-to method for trying to gain some sympathy is to cry about how everything has gone down. Honestly, it would make me cry too if I was at this point with my sibling. She said, it just makes me sad when I think about my kids. I don't want them to ever feel the pain or scrutiny. I guess the scrutiny that Jamie Lynn feels. That's not necessary and that's not theirs to carry. So I'll carry that, it's fine. It just makes me sad when I think about my kids. Like I don't ever want them to feel the pain or the scrutiny that is not necessary and it's not theirs to carry. So I'll carry it, that's fine. I actually do think that's important because there are so many terrible people out there that should not be parents and then their kids are kind of defined by their parents history and I think that their her kids deserve to figure out who they are and not to be associated with Jamie Lynn's bad behavior. Jamie Lynn does have an older daughter and I do believe that she's fully aware of what has gone down and I'm sure it does affect their family because when she sees so many people consistently call out her mother she must question what her mother's doing to get this bad attention and she doesn't deserve to feel sad or depressed or ashamed because of her mother's behavior but it's kind of hard to escape that when everything's so public and Jamie Lynn isn't doing the right thing. I can just remember, like, it just was, it was hard, you know? But I feel like at the end of the day, um, look where I am now. Jamie Lynn added that when she talks to her elder daughter, Maddie, who is 15, about her aunt Brittany and what Maddie may be hearing about her, she reminds her to be proud. You should be so proud. Look at what your family's done and accomplished. We came from a small town and now everyone's fascinated. Interesting perspective because 
it's not really what your family's done. It's what Britney has done. And I think it's important to acknowledge that Britney has done this and got you guys out of this small town. I say, wow, you should be so proud. Like, look at what your family's done and accomplished. We came from a small town and now everybody's fascinated by the good and especially the bad. But wow, look at what an example of a strong female you have. And I admire it. And I know that I've, that's all I say is like, that is noise. Like you have something to be proud of and you should, you should have pride in that. And kids are kids. So I'm sure there's a lot meaner things that, you know, they're doing to each other <laughs> in high school. Britney got her entire family out of poverty, which is huge, and they should be proud of it, but also acknowledge where it's really coming from. It makes me sad. Because I can't, I can't imagine it. You know, I'm not, that's not my world. Yeah, it was, it was, I, I don't want my daughter to feel that way. So I have to say, absolutely not. Will I allow my children, especially my oldest daughter, who was very affected by all of it, um, I would not back down. I will not allow her to feel this way in her life. There was one question the interviewer asked Jamie Lynn, and I didn't really appreciate it. They asked, would Jamie Lynn ever perform with Britney in the future? Do you really think they want to perform with each other? She said, I don't know. I think right now I'm just really focused on me and what I'm doing. And I think that's probably the right answer. You guys may remember that Britney, we just talked about this a few minutes ago, claims that she saw Jamie Lynn recently. But when Jamie Lynn was asked about this, she neither confirms or denies that it happened because she doesn't want to upset Britney and to cause like some damage in their relationship, but it doesn't really sound like Jamie Lynn saw Britney anytime recently. They ask, what's your relationship with Britney like today? She says, I have nothing but absolute love for every single one of my family members. We're asking about Britney. If I learned anything from the last year, being so open and feeling like I had to defend myself at times, I don't feel that there's anything else I need to say. Good. Well, maybe I don't, I mean, you wrote that book, the things you should have said. And that entire book was so like reading it, you know, I don't read books that often, but that's like a third grade reading level. It makes me sad. I mean, I have nothing but abs absolute love for every single one of my family members. And I think if I learned anything from last year, being so open and being so personal and feeling like I had to defend myself at times that I do want to just focus on maybe, you know, what it is that I've done and said is already out there. I don't feel like there's anything else that I need to mm -hmm. say in any personal aspects. I just have to leave it where it is because those conversations are meant to be personal. Even though Jamie Lynn is going around and promoting her new movie, there's a bad taste in a lot of fellow actors' mouths because right now they are on strike and she shouldn't really be promoting this piece. I'm sure it's part of her contract that she has to go and promote it, but she's also trying to stick up for fellow actors because she has been on Sweet Magnolias, which if you guys have seen that show, comment below. I've never seen it. No desire to see. I have no idea what it's about. But Jamie Lynn's been on there for three seasons, so I guess she's doing okay there. Hi, I wanted to give all of you an update on some things that are currently going on. For those of you who don't know, there have been some strikes going on in our industry, and it looks like SAG is now going to also come alongside the WGA and also be on strike. I'm a SAG member, as are many others, and per the requirements of strike, that means that any ongoing press, social media promotion, premieres, anything, um, towards any of our projects that are currently shooting and the ones that are already shot like season three of Sweet Magnolias and so we wanted to are completed but we are not allowed to promote them in requirement of the strike. It's important and necessary that we all stick together but it's also heartbreaking and creates a lot of complicated feelings because she works so hard. It's important. I mean SAG is where I get my health insurance and the strike is not going to hurt just the writers and actors. It's going to affect everyone who is employed in this industry. So during that time I'm going to do my requirements as a SAG member and support all of those who are part of this um, doesn't change the fact that it's heartbreaking that we don't get to celebrate these projects that we work so hard on. on Sleep Magnolia season three coming out on Netflix July 20th. And so we wanted to the movie coming out on Paramount Plus July 27th. We love y'all, we thank y'all, and we appreciate your support, especially during this time. At least Jamie Lynn is standing up for something. Imagine if we had that behavior during the Free Britney movement. I think people would respect her a lot more. One issue I am having, though, is this new song by Britney Spears, which I'm actually a fan of. I was at the clubs yesterday, and, like, so many people did not like it. I was like, oh, my gosh, I've been listening to it re on repeat. But this song is actually an old song, and I don't really like how Will I Am has been promoting it. Britney doesn't release music that often, and the way that Will I Am is speaking about 
this collaboration, there's something sketchy here, something that doesn't really add up. Back in 2011, these two worked together pretty often, and I'm almost certain that this was recorded way back then, and Britney hasn't touched it since, so why release it now? Britney's like one of my favorite people on earth. I'm so proud of her fight and all the people that supported her throughout the years to, you know, give her the courage and the, the energy for her to keep fighting for her for independence. Um, so that that's the first thing when it comes to Britney is like supporting her for the things that she needs. And whenever she wants to make music, I'm there, you know, as a, as a friend, uh, a supporter, uh, confidant. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah, shout out Britney, love Britney. Even though I'm super excited to see Britney putting out music with Will I Am, and it does seem like he advocates for her, it also seems like he's kind of like hired by Team Con. I mean, I'm not trying to push that out there, but if you look at the visuals, the pictures are from 2003. Everything kind of seems very AI. I mean, if Britney recorded any of this recently, supposedly she did it on the phone, so I don't think he really can speak on her well being. But I am telling you. At one point he was asked, was topping those tracks a goal for Mind Your Business? Tracks that he's worked on with Britney Spears before. He says, I'm competitive. Here it is, 2023. People want to hear this, but they ask, when did I record this with Britney? And is that really Britney on it? Yes, it is. When did I record it? That's not important. For example, I have a track from several years ago, Girls Like Me. He goes on to promote this track that he made years before um, and tries to justify the fact that this song was recorded a long time ago and now they're just releasing it because the timing is right but i also just don't think that maybe britney is in a place where is she even able to go to the studio and do what she wants to on her own terms the verse is a kind of britney and spoken word bratty form which i actually kind of like but will i am spits just completely ruin it we know that britney doesn't mind your business moment well because we heard it on piece of me but that song was so lyrically specific and clever whereas this one feels like it's just kind of like not creative. Will I Am just brings the same kind of vibe that he has to everything since Black Eyed Peas Boom Boom Pow. It sits in that futuristic vibe, but by now in 2023, it actually doesn't feel futuristic. It feels kind of bland. Even though I appreciate that he's speaking so kindly of Britney, I just have a bad feeling that he actually hasn't spoken to her or worked with her any time recently. And he can't really speak about how she's doing because he really only has 2013 to reference. And it seems like this entire situation is an opportunity for him just to promote his new album coming out. So it's just a win-win for Will I Am. He really probably can care less about what, what Britney's up to. And Will I Am has also confirmed that these are new Britney vocals that she's been in the studio recently with him. Even though this picture that you can see up here is actually from a photo shoot from 2003. Will I Am has talked about it and explained that this song is kind of about privacy, but he's really gone way deeper than the lyrics suggest with his explanation. The reporter asks Will I Am, you alluded to something during your interview on how you've been supportive of her as a person. Does that mean that you were privy as a friend to the strange hold of her 13 year conservatorship? He says, I don't know the depths. I can't even. I was a contributor and our connection was music and music only. Sometimes music gets personal, but as far as the day-to-day -day stuff, no. I didn't know until everyone else knew. But you put two and two together and everything makes sense. I do think that this song is interesting as far as timing because people are so interested in Britney's business. So um, I think it's it kind of fits. It's, it, it's a good time to release the song, whether you like it or not. But I still do not believe that it's any fresh and the lyrics are very dated oh no 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 this isn't music no i don't like this david no that's enough no david i don't like that no Fans are criticizing the album artwork, claiming that it's AI generated. And to be honest, I would believe so. I mean, the photo is from 2003, but it's definitely been enhanced. And I don't think that this is anything fresh or new. And I'm sure Britney had no say at all. A photo of Britney Spears from 2003 is being used as a promotional image for her new track with Will I Am. That is so AI. What do you guys think about this? I would be interested if maybe an AI music video is in the works. Rumors of a music video came out when a user on threads wrote that Britney was not involved with the production of the song, stating that I was asked to be a Britney Spears double for Mind Your Business music video early June, but things were so fishy. They wanted to use deep fake and put me in a yellow bikini. I respectfully asked if Britney had signed 
off on this and they could not give me an answer so i denied and we really don't know it like you know if this person actually went through with this or you know ever was contacted because it's social media but it's interesting to think that maybe they would try to get someone who looks similar to her just to deep fake them and create this new content it kind of reminds me of the ashley o netflix episode where they just like used her brain to create content against her will i think it's pretty obvious that this is an old photo of britney spears it's actually a photo shoot she did for glamour magazine back in april of 2003 obviously there are a lot of people who are really excited about this song and then there are those who are saying this has to be a song that she recorded with will i am back in the day me personally i do believe it's an old song i do believe that britney spears is not going to do a photo shoot for anything i mean we've seen that she's also using an old photo for her book coming out. We saw the same thing happen with Elton John and Britney Spears' single, Hold Me Closer. They used an old photo of Britney as well. The question is, what does any of this really mean? It could honestly be one of two things. Either her team, Cade and whoever else, is putting music out there because they want to get money in their pockets. Or Britney is behind this. I mean, she said she does not want to work in Hollywood anymore and she knows she has old music that she's never put out. Why not put them out and make money off of them without her having to lift a finger or do any work? Now, the reason why I know it's an old song is because Maya Marie, someone who does a lot of back vocals for Britney Spears, has spoken about this song in the past. And it's not like Maya Marie knew that this song was coming out anytime soon. She probably like is a little stressed out that she got herself wrapped up in this. And actually, some people are now accusing Maya of just recording this song entirely and that Britney Spears wasn't used for any of it. And actually, it's interesting interesting because Maya had said in the past way long ago that she loved this song that hadn't come out yet and she was trying to remember the name but it's clearly the Mind Your B song and it's something that she worked on for Britney Jean way back when so like this song is definitely old and if it's Britney singing on it um yeah it's it's maybe AI because Maya did a lot of the recording a favorite song that I recorded the demo for, but it wasn't released. There was one called Unbroken, and it was so good, and I'll never forget it. Um, what was another one I really liked? There was one that Will I Am wrote. It was really cool. It was kind of rappy. Um, it was for Britney Jean. It was like business, something like business, like be up in my business. It was really cool. But um, those were two that stick out to me as ones that I really liked that I wish she would have recorded. Because she recorded the demo for this, I'm curious to know if Britney ever actually recorded it in the first place or if they could be AIing it. I know I keep bringing up AI, but actually I've been listening to a lot of AI songs on YouTube and it is incredible what they can do. There are so many Britney Spears versions. I've been listening to the Kill Bill song with like Britney Spears in it. And there's, it's, I mean, it's a powerful tool. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below about everything and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys. <laughs>